Hello lovely and welcome back to the Makeup Hunter. So we are in a bit of a different location. I'm looking a bit rough around the edges but I really wanted to get this video finished and up for you. Um, I'm starting a um, new mini series on my channel a sort of like a reintroduction and a good way for me to get back into regular filming. Um, I have quite a few videos planned where I want to give you kind of an update on what's been going on with me, where I've been, that sort of thing. Um, but I wanted to share with you my um, current makeup inventory um, and the way that I'm going to do that is slightly different than I see a lot of people do inventory videos. I want to do like um, a deep dive into my collection so share in detail section by section um show you what i've got talk about the products a little bit um and then i'm going to put the numbers um the total numbers of everything up on the screen so i hope that sounds like something that you are will be interested in um we are starting off um i'm going to go in the order of how I have things in my storage. So we're gonna be starting off with lip products, um, lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks, stains, crayons. The only thing I don't talk about in this video is lip liners because I store them somewhere else. And I will sort of talk about those when I talk about the other things that they're stored with, if that makes sense at all. I hope it does. It's quite late. I'm quite tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with lip products. Um, the setup in this video isn't the best. Um, hello, man. <laughs> um the setup in this video isn't the best. Um, we have, um, I don't have much space in my bedroom to have like a full professional setup. You can see the legs of my tripod, but I tried for so long to get it so that you couldn't see them and it just didn't work. So please excuse that. I hope the angles and the lighting and everything is okay. Um, I have invested in some new lights and a new tripod, which is a lot more stable than the last one. Um, but yeah, I'm still getting to grips with the angles and the best setup for everything. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, um, having a nose at what lip products I have. Um, if you want to see more from this series and you want to see more of my makeup collection, then please stick around and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. Um, give me a like if you like this kind of content. Um, I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Um, I try and reply to every comment that I get, even the not so nice ones. Um, and yeah, have an absolutely amazing day, whatever you are doing. And I hope you enjoy the video. Bye lovely. Okay, so this isn't the best working setup in the world but it's the best I can do with the space that I have available. So we are starting with my lip products. And now these are all of the lip products that I own apart from some random lip balms um, and my lip liners, which I will get to um, later on. So these two drawers are my main like bullet lipsticks they live in the um one of these tall alex units that you would have seen um these live in my vanity these are lip glosses and lip crayons then these are the lip products that i have in rotation currently um, and then i have here um this tub which is brand new makeup that I haven't got round to trying out yet and there are quite a few lip products in here so I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and we'll get started and I think I'm going to start 
with this draw which is the second one um, in the tall unit so let's get started okay so i'm sorry if this isn't the best angle i'm not a professional youtuber i just do this for fun um so and for the love of makeup so let's get started so this drawer is where i keep um the top drawer is where i keep like my top favorites um like my favorite brands this drawer sort of has a collection of everything else um so in here i've got a lot of color pop yves saint laurent milani all my macs are in here proper beauty urban decay fenty and um, more color pop so i also have lip stains in here so let's get from the top let's go from the color pop just a tint so i absolutely love the color pop just a tint formula it's a really easy um like a, a sheer kind of a lip balm but the colors are really beautiful so i have quite a few of those and obviously i'm not swatching in this video or i would be here all day so those are the color pop just a tint crayons that i have and then probably my favorite formula from color pop are these um blotted lips so i bought the set that you can get and then they did like um one-off standalone shade which i um i bought as well um which i think was this one doheny drive which is a lovely like burgundy red these are a really like soft matte blotted lip formula they give such a beautiful um sort of popsicle lip just sort of worn worn in lip look they are really really beautiful and i would if i was in the states and color pop was a little bit easier to get hold of i would definitely have more of these then i have the color pop um standard bullet lipsticks and i have um a couple of different formulas in here so i have like the cream lux lipsticks and then i have the um lux velvet blurs so i have a couple of collections so i've got some of the um sophia nygaard i got these ones um on a reselling site so i didn't get these from color pop because they were completely sold out so i have um bikini bottom mrs norris and very mean lipsticks um i have the frozen 2 collection the elsa and anna lipsticks um i have a couple from a christmas collection these ones with the white writing on the side and then all of these ones with the normal um like star packaging these are either the standard like cream lipsticks so i've got like scorpio moon which was the kathleen lights collab i've got gallop um and then i've got quite a lot of the um velvet blur ones which are very similar to the blotted lips um these just have these are a slightly drier formula um and i absolutely love these lipsticks so i have quite a few color pop <laughs> lipsticks so those are my color pop then i've got a couple of randoms i've got um an elf um hydrating 
core lipstick this was a freebie and um, which really really nice i would buy more of those and then i've got my one and only beauty pie lipstick this is um quite a sheer balmy formula and this is in the shade bruised berry i'm no longer um subscribed to beauty pie um i found a lot of their products expired quite quickly um especially with the makeup but the lipstick is hung on that one is okay and it's a nice formula um then i have um let's do these stains so i also have makeup that i keep at my caravan um that is still count i still count within my inventory numbers um but obviously i don't have them here to show you um so these are some lip stains that i got off amazon they're like little bowling pins these are really great for the price i think it was 6.99 for um six of them um i've left one at the caravan um but yeah if you're after like um a cheap lip stain to try the formula these are really great and then i've also got two of the elf lip stains i've got the red and then the brown one which is um cinnamon dreams and fiery red um these are a really nice formula they stay quite glossy on the lips and then they just leave a like a subtle stain behind so those are really nice as well um then i have two balms from ysl um, these are exactly the same product um i have two of them i absolutely love them it's like um a sheer red lip balm um, and they are counted with my um, lipsticks rather than lip balms. Um, then I have my Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks. These are a very matte but super pigmented opaque lip, lipstick formula. Um, I think these have been phased out now, but they are a really great formula. The colours that she does in these are amazing. Um, they last a super long time on the lips through eating and drinking and they they are a dry matte formula but they don't dry your lips out like with a liquid lipstick and some matte lip formulas then i have oh i have another one that's an escapee um i have one doll beauty lipstick in here um i have another one in my box of new and unused lipsticks but these are a matte formula um but they're super comfortable um very opaque really good color payoff their uh, packaging's super cute and i bought two very light nudes as i felt that was something that was missing in my collection and then i have um milani these are the um the more like hydrating ones i know the ones that went super viral are a matte finish um but these are quite hydrating but um they are super pigmented for sort of like a balmy formula but they are really beautiful um the dark pink ones the this one especially uh, this one is so so pigmented with just one swipe so those are them then i have um a few urban decay ones i did declutter quite a lot of these um last year um and now i have just a few of them left these are the original vice lipsticks they have since reformulated and changed the packaging um i do keep an eye on these because they are that little bit older but these ones are all doing quite well um and these three are quite they were sort of bought like just before they reformulated so those are them then i have all of my proper beauty lipsticks these are a beautiful formula i wish they were easier to get hold of here in the uk um i didn't actually get charged any customs i don't think for these um 
but they are um, from an American indie brand um, and I had um, I think it was two of the sets and then one random one which is um, like a red so these are mostly nudes um, but they're really unusual nudes because they are made for um, the, um, a woman of colour brand like owned brand but she's sort of done nudes that would suit every complexion um and you don't they're, they're tones and things that you don't see a lot of so i really really love these lipsticks they're amazing quality and um, so i have those and then i have all my mac lipsticks i did have a hell of a lot more than this at one time i have really downsized and decluttered um i got rid of a lot that were expired um my mum had a load of them off me not the expired ones but colors that i wasn't as into anymore but i have recently purchased a few mac lipsticks i have quite a few in my brand new inbox i bought I repurchased two that I'd decluttered um, because they were so old um, and I also got some of the new um, Lustre Glass formula so MAC lipsticks will always have such a special place in my heart because they are so super nostalgic um, at one time I was a MAC collector um, I purchased every collection that they came out with um, I worked near a mac counter so it was you know it was something that i always did i saved up and and spent you know my savings and my pocket money on mac um even before i was working so yeah this is what's left um but yeah i really do um have they have such a special place in my heart also quite special to me are my ysl lipsticks i have um quite a few of the um the more sheer shiny lipsticks and then these are the more um opaque ones the rouge pour couture um, my mum got me into these um and we both have quite um a sizable collection of them um again these are older in my collection so i do keep a, a sort of a close eye on them um but in these i have quite a lot of like brighter colors that i don't have in other areas of my collection my absolute favorite formula in these are the um, rouge volupte shine which are these um sheer balmy shiny lipsticks which is is something that you'll see quite a lot of as that is my absolute favorite when it comes to lip products I'm not really a fan of a matte lip um, although there is the occasion at times to wear a matte lip um, I much prefer a more sheer balmy formula so that's that first draw what I'm going to do now is put everything away give it a tidy and the brand new and unused stuff that is in the box I am actually going to um, put them away in here and then we'll once I've done all of the lip products I'll put the numbers up on the screen of what I've got okay and this one is my super favorites <laughs> so these are top favorite brands and top favorite formulas these live in my top drawer um, the only sort of um, exception to that is um, I have a random L'Oreal one in here um, which should go to the caravan um, with my I've got quite a collection of these L'Oreal Color Reach lipsticks um, but I had this one as um, a free gift um, a couple of months ago and I dropped it in here and sort of forgot about it um, but I really do like this lipstick so I'm kind of glad that I've got it um, around and close to me at the moment so let's start with my absolute top tippity top favorites are my 
Glossier lipsticks. So I have the Generation G and the Ultra Lips. The Ultra Lips are my ultimate favourite. These are again that sheer balmy formula. And I think I now pretty much own every single shade in this line. I absolutely love these. These are my, you know, if I was to lose everything tomorrow, these would be the lipsticks that I would repurchase first. I also have the um, Generation G's. These are the, um, similar to the Colourpop Blotted Lips. These are like a sheer balmy, blot, like but matte lipstick um i love the scent of these they smell like roses rose is my absolute favorite scent um i have most of the shades that they do in this formula i am missing a few um but they recently bought out three new ones and i did pick up those and a couple of the ones that i was uh, missing that i wanted the ones that i don't have are cake and Leo and I think there's another red that I don't have as well um, but I absolutely love those then we have my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks um, I don't have a huge amount of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks but the ones I have I do really enjoy I've got um, some of the um, you know the classics I've got pillow talk um, I've just been using this one this month i've got pillow talk 2 medium i have um mi kiss live it up um electric poppy some of the um some good nudes and um, a couple of like bright pops of color then i also have from charlotte tilbury some of the hot lips 2 collection i only have three of them i have jk magic dance floor princess and in love with olivia these are the sort of nudey colors and then i have the jewelgasm balm this is a beautiful lip balm um it's looking a little bit um beaten up because of <laughs> me applying it over um other products but this is um a product that sort of adjusts to the ph of your lips it smells amazing it's super comfortable i absolutely love it um then i have two victoria beckham lipsticks i only have two of these these are super expensive um i do really like them i really like the formula but honestly i prefer the glossier um, ultra lips and they are like less than half the price so I only have two of those then I have my Gucci lipsticks these are some other favorites I have um, three of the um, the balm ones these are the caring balm and then I also have um, some of the satins and I think I might have one matte Oh no, I have all satins. Uh, this was a limited edition one. I have um, a couple of nudes. The thing with Gucci is they have a lot of nudes, but they are unusual nudes. They have so many different tones. So I got some that were a little bit different. I also have um, another Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Diamonds. This is the one that makes your lips look wet it's like a shimmery pink but it looks so cool over the top of um, a normal lipstick um i have three vive lipsticks these were from the original launch um one of my favorite formulas is um the natasha denona i need a nudes in fact i have a backup this is my absolute favorite lipstick this is i need a nude in the shade maria again i've worn that over a darker dark lipstick so it looks a bit grim but that's the only lipstick that i've sort of got a backup of i love it that much whoops um then i have um the random l'oreal ones 
so I've got the freebie one which is Rose Tender it's a light frosty pink but it looks really beautiful um, over a darker lip line I had it in like um, a gift from Boots when I ordered some skincare um, it was like some of their top selling products so there was like this and a mascara a couple of sachets of um, L'Oreal um, moisturizer and serum that sort of thing and then I've also got this um, this is one of the glow paradise again one of those like sheer balmy lipstick this is the shade Mulberry ecstatic it's that sort of um, Clinique black honey vibe it's a really really beautiful lipstick um, then these are the ones that I've got in rotation currently um, so my only Chanel lip product this is Chanel daylight um, this was one that I've been wearing for the last month or so and really really love it it's like my perfect mood before I discovered uh, Natasha Denona Maria uh, Chanel Daylight was my ride or die um, then we have my babies my Dior lipsticks um, Dior just has my heart when it comes to lip products the Glossier Ultra Lips are my absolute favourites but come in a close second are my Dior these are my sort of treats well they were when I was shopping treats to myself like special lipsticks and if I you know asked for you know presents and things you could never go wrong with getting me a Dior lip product <laughs> so I've got two of the lip glow this is the original pink and this one is mahogany i think yeah mahogany these are really really nice then i have the stella shines these are my favorites um got a different range of colors in them then i have more of the um newer um dior addicts these are the um very creamy um but opaque lipsticks and then I have some of the classic original ones these are the Rouge Dior um, I have two pinks and then a matte lip balm the matte balm is so cool it is literally a matte lip balm but it's so beautiful that's in the shade Solstice I would 100% get more of these balms those are some really funky colors um this is um one that my mum gave me recently this is the shade tight and dior which is a beautiful light pinky nude um don't understand why she got rid of it because it's stunning but she's more of a like a red lip kind of kind of lady so those are my dior's and then I have one of the um, lip tattoos, which is like their matte lip staining. Um, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, I love it, but it dries the absolute ever-loving fuck out of my lips. <laughs> so if I wear it, I have to be prepared to have really sore, dry lips afterwards. I probably wouldn't purchase another one of these. Um, then I have my NARS lipsticks. Um, these are mostly um, mattes. Um, they are sort of a, a very smooth matte. They're super lightweight. You feel like you've got nothing on your lips, but they are really, they do pack a punch when it comes to colour. So um, this is one of my favourites for Special, which is a really deep um like plum wine kind of color love that one around autumn i have more sort of unusual colors in these i only have one nude the rest are sort of like different so like i've got some cool, nice cool tones i've got some beautiful bright pinks and reds and then i have one 
brand new NARS lipstick in my little box of tricks. This is um, one of the sheer ones in the shade Roman Holiday. I was after this one for so long. It was sold out for ages and I finally managed to snag one a couple of months ago. Um, I have obviously been on a no buy now for two months um, and this is the reason that I've gone on a no buy because two months I haven't purchased anything but I've still got products in a tub that I have yet to get to and I've had them for like two months so it just kind of goes to show why why I decided the no buy was kind of crucial because I I'm not getting round to products they're sitting unused and unopened for months on end and it's it's a crying shame so hopefully these numbers will just come down um as I do this like year on year we'll see the numbers decrease um as looking at my inventory from last year I have gone up quite a lot so I'm sort of trying to stop that from being a trend um then I have two other random Dior lipsticks sorry for that little tangent I have two random Dior lipsticks these were Christmas presents off my parents last year these are the Diorific lipsticks these are so expensive but they are a really beautiful special lipstick and I will never ever get rid of these because like I say they were gifts from my parents and they weren't things that I asked for they were just things that my mum sort of went and picked herself which always feels a bit nicer and a bit more special um then I have my Fenty slip shines these are my favourite Fenty lip formula and again I think she's got rid of these which is such a shame because they are a beautiful beautiful lipstick um they're those again say it with me sheer shiny balm type formula then I have three of the rose ink these um I'm still getting my thoughts on I haven't used them enough even though I've had them probably for 12 months now um I haven't really formed much of an opinion on them again hence me going on the no buy low buy um they're just sort of I, I think they haven't stood out to me as being anything super special um but the colors are really pretty and then i have my pat mcgrath lipsticks all of these i got during like black friday sales i've never paid like full price for these um these are the ones that she doesn't do anymore they're the um like the shimmery satin ones um, but these are my favourites. I absolutely love these. And then these are her standard matte trance lipsticks. Um, and these I tend to wear for special occasions. So they're super pigmented um, and some really like striking colours. So that's that. And then I also have another brand new lipstick to put in here this is um my only two face lip product this is the one of the cocoa ones um is it sweet as cocoa or something like cocoa bold and this is the shade chocolate strawberry again it's that like light pinky nude okay and lastly for uh these lips We'll do glosses and crayons. And I'm just going to bump these out. So, for lip crayons, um, I have, um, obviously I have those just a tin ones. Um, I count my lip crayons in with my lipsticks inventory numbers um because to me they're they're just the same it's just in a different format so um my numbers will include obviously bullet lipsticks and um lip crayons i think i do have um, a separate section for liquid lipsticks um and then lip glosses so i 
I'm just talking to myself, ignore me. Um, so these are my lip crayons. I have two from Laura Mercier. These are the, um, what are they called? Um, Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. These are incredibly pigmented. I have two like orangey red shades. Um, super pigmented, very matte, but very comfortable. And then the rest of them I have are from Nude Sticks. And I've got um, a couple of different formulas. I've got the gel cheek and lip balms. And then I think I've got um, Intense Matte. These are really, really nice. My favourite are obviously the gel balm ones. Um, but these are great to just like throw in your handbag. Um, you know, to do a two-in-one because you don't need a... A lip liner um tay tay is one of my favorites so is the shade ali and j mama which are these two they all look very very similar and they actually are very very similar but i i do really rate the new sticks crayons so those are them and then i have all of my lip glosses and I'm not really that into lip gloss, um, but there are a couple of formulas that I really, really do like, and I've been trying to sort of push myself to wear lip gloss more. One of my goals this year is to use every single one of my lip glosses at least once this year. So some of my absolute favourites are my Pat McGrath. Again, I got all of these during um, Black Friday sales. I especially like the really sparkly ones, um, but I love this formula and the colours that she does. So I have quite a few of those forgot any more yeah so those are my pat mcgraths then i also have um a couple of dior ones again i absolutely love the dior lip gloss formula i have two lip maximizers so these are like the plumping conditioning ones um these aren't like a hot plump they like a cool plump and I like putting these on at the start of my makeup routine because they just sort of help fill in the lines in your lips give your lips a load of hydration ready for whatever you put on top similar to the lip glow oil um I had the lip glow oil before it was famous um, and then I've got two of the normal Stella Shine lip glosses these are super pigmented super comfortable they last a really long time on the lips they're beautiful and then I have um, my Fenty's so I have uh, three of the normal and the famous ones so I've got Fenty Go, Fussy and Diamond Milk and then I also have the heat in hot cherry um, I'm not a fan of lip plumpers um, the reason I like this one is the colour um, but I find it really uncomfortable I can't really use like those hot spicy um, lip plumpers and then I have two from um, Sigma these are their lip oils these are really really nice really comfortable um, and then oh, I have one Charlotte Tilbury one. This was um, in a free gift from Court Beauty a while ago, but I do actually really like this. It's um, similar to the Dior Lip Maximizers. It's kind of like cooling and it plumps up your lips and fills in like the fine lines, but isn't super uncomfortable. Um, I've got a couple of Glossier lip glosses. I've also got the red one at the Caravan. Um, these are a really nice lip gloss formula. Um, super grippy um, and stay super shiny on your lips for ages. I also like using these at the start of my makeup routine to give my lips some hydration and a bit of, um, you know, a bit of something. Then I have um, some recent favourites 
are the NYX. This is Milky Lip Glosses. These are such a lovely formula. They are very um, a sophisticated lip gloss formula. Um, and I love the colours that they do in them. So I have only had four of them and I would definitely pick up more. Um, they're a really lovely product. And then also from NYX, um, a while ago, I picked up two of the um, fat drip lip oils. Um, I have the shades That Chic and Newsfeed. Um, these are really nice as well. They remind me quite a bit of the, ooh, the Dior lip oil, which I think is what they're supposed to be a dupe of. Um, so yeah, really love those. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but I'm just adding it in. And another drugstore one that I really love the formula of are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Um, I would 100% buy more of these. Um, if I wasn't on my no buy, I really love them. Um, I started off with this one and then picked up another two. These are sort of dupes of the Fenty ones. Um, but I actually think I prefer the Maybelline formula. So those are those. And then the only two that I would are sort of on the chopping block are these ColourPop um look slip glosses. These are from the Rudolph collection. I have there was three in a set. I do have the other one. It's at the caravan. It's just a like a diamond shimmery lip gloss. Um I just don't really have any thoughts on these, um, but I'm not decluttering um, currently. I, well, I'm, not, I'm trying not to declutter um, as I have previously where I've sort of just done a big massive bulk declutter. I'm trying to sort of declutter as I use things. Um, so I'm keeping hold of these at the moment, but these would be the only things that I would sort of consider getting rid of. And then lastly, I have my Bobbi Brown um, Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. This is stunning. Um, it's a bright red, but on my lips it looks like a bright pink. It's um, really, really beautiful. Again, another one that I would buy more of if I was making the purchases at the moment. Um, and then I just have in here my Laneige Lip Gloss. This isn't counted in... Um, like my inventory numbers I just keep it in here because I often put it on at the start of my makeup routine and that is all of my lip products the only things left lip product wise like I said are my lip liners but I will go through those um, when I show you like the stuff that I keep on top of my vanity